Fidel and Raul Castro were born in a tiny hamlet called Biran in what is today the eastern province of Holguin. The family house and farm buildings have been restored and turned into a museum. Fidel's parents both came from humble origins, his mother a domestic worker, his father a Spanish immigrant who through hard work became a wealthy landowner. The farm workers, many of them poor Haitian migrants, lived in nearby huts. There was also a one-room school on the farm, which the young Fidel attended, along with his elder brother and sister. This classroom was open to everyone living here, from the children of the poorest farm laborers to the family of the wealthy landowner. And it's believed that this is where Fidel first became aware of the vast differences in wealth that existed in the Cuba of those days. All these interpersonal relations he established with these humble families helped Fidel to understand the essence of suffering and oppression and the difficulties these families went through. And living beside a dirt track not far from the farm, we found one of Fidel Castro's last surviving classmates. When Fidel and I were kids, he was never stuck up. He always hung out with us. The whole group of kids, we swam together in the pond at Jobo. They also played baseball and boxing. And even in those early days, Fidel Castro displayed a competitive streak and the will to win. I practiced boxing with Fidel. But he was taller than me and had big feet. And every time I tried to retreat, he would step on my toes to stop me. There's still growing sugar in the fields around the farm, only now it's a workers' collective. Shortly after the revolution, Fidel Castro nationalized the family business.